Hey, what's up guys, Jason Stewart here again, and I'm going to show you something on YouTube here. And it is actually, like, this guy is, like, how much actual small YouTubers make. And I want y'all to watch this. So, um, please watch this. If you like this video, please like it and comment. And if you're new, please subscribe. I would love to make whatever he makes. Um, you know, just, you know, $5 would be enough. But it's just the point of knowing I'm doing good. And hopefully here pretty soon I will be getting a desktop computer. Um, we had done looked because of my laptop that I said I have. I am looking to trade it for a desktop or something. Um, so I can get it to work and I can make some actual gaming videos. I can be like Spears the Amazing HD or Polecat or Bay Area Bugs. So I will find out um, that. So let's get straight into the video. And now uh, this guy does talk in here. So um, it is not me or anything he says is not about me. It is just here. Buddy, it's Seth from Fowler Customs, and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about how much money smaller YouTubers actually make on YouTube. So before I get into the video itself, this video is a little off topic for me. This isn't really something I usually do on my channel. If you don't know, my channel is a sneaker channel. I do sneaker reviews, things like that. So make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, but let's get into it. So before I started this channel, I wanted to know sort of what the end goal would be for me. And originally I thought maybe I could have like a dual income, a second income, something like that. But the more research I did, the more I discovered that unless you're a really big YouTuber or have a lot of sponsorships, things like that, you're not really going to make any money on YouTube. So I decided to just go for it and see if I liked it and I discovered that making videos is a passion of mine so even though it's not really a second income or anywhere close to that it's still like a great hobby to have on the side so my advice to you guys if you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel make sure to do it for the right reasons. Make sure to do it because you love it because most likely you're not really going to make any money doing it at all. But as the title of the video suggests let me give you guys actual numbers about how much I actually make. Currently I have about 3,300 subscribers I've had this channel for about seven months so the subscriber rate's been growing pretty quickly it's nothing crazy it's nothing astronomical but it's a pretty average subscriber growth I've got to say my subscribers are pretty much the best subscribers in the world they're all great they're all super loyal they all comment on all my videos I love you guys thank you so much for subscribing but with that being said consistency is very important on YouTube in order to gain subscribers and create a following you really have to put out consistent videos for me I keep myself consistent by having a schedule I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and I usually record those videos before work or after work. I have a full-time job, 9 to 5 every day, so this is really kind of like a second job. And like I said, you really don't make much money at all. It's not at all worth doing this for the money because you're just you're going to be sorely disappointed. But the reason I bring up consistency is that in order to stay relevant on YouTube, you really have to treat it as a second job. So for me, every video takes about 2 to 3 hours to film and edit. So, like when I get back home from work, it's six i'm filming till about seven or eight and then i'm editing and putting it out probably around nine unless i do the video in the morning or record it in a separate day so if you think about it you're spending two to three hours a day three times a week so for me it's about nine hours a week that all together over the month is about 36 hours of just sitting making videos that's a lot of time but let's talk actual numbers for me i have about 3,300 subscribers and i put out about 12 videos a month each one of my videos get on average about a thousand to ten thousand views depending on the situation Recently, I've been on the low end of that, but whenever there's a big shoe release or there's a popular topic, I can get anywhere from 10,000 to 80,000 views, depending on the video. To give you a quick idea of how you actually earn money on YouTube, every time you upload a video, there's a little checkbox that you hit to monetize your video. And basically what that does is it'll put ads on your video, whether that's a 30-second ad at the beginning of the video or a little pop-up ad in the bottom. But whenever someone interacts with those ads or watches the whole thing through, you get like a couple cents. According to YouTube's dashboard, which gives you an estimated amount of views, interactions, things like that. Over the last 30 days, I've gotten 112,000 views, which to be honest, isn't a lot. But to give you an idea of how much money that actually made, I'll pull up my AdSense account. And last month, I made $97.42. Now that doesn't sound terrible for just making videos, but if you think about it, 12 videos, 36 hours worth of work, you divide 97.42 by 36, and it comes out to $2.70 per hour. So $2.70 is not even close to minimum wage. I'm might as well get a night job if I'm really trying to make the money. But to be honest, like I said before, this is more of a hobby for me. I just love doing it. I love talking to you guys. I love interacting with you guys. I love checking out new products. So again,
can. If you're doing this for the money, don't. Not worth it. This is more about just doing it for your own enjoyment, your own fulfillment, things like that. There is also a pretty big catch for smaller YouTubers too. There's actually a $100 threshold on your Google AdSense account. So even though last month I made $97.42, I can't actually cash it out until next month. So hopefully I'll make enough money Hopefully I'll make about $2.60 so that my balance will be over $100 so that I can actually cash it out. Because right now, it's kind of just sitting there not even doing me any good. So for the last seven months I've been doing YouTube, only about four of those months I've actually gone over the threshold and been able to cash out my money. For the last four months, my monthly earnings have been anywhere between $80 or $160 depending on the amount of views that I was getting that particular month. But again, that's just me. That's just what I think is the average for most YouTubers my size. So if you're thinking about getting into YouTube, most likely after about six months, you might be in my boat where you're at about 3,000 subscribers and you're probably going to be making about that much money. But like I said before, most likely you can't make a second income from YouTube. I'm not saying that to stop you from doing YouTube, but just think of it more as a hobby, something you do for your own enjoyment rather than a second income because you're probably not going to make much money. But that's pretty much it for the video, guys. Make sure to leave a comment in the comment section below letting me know. So, you know, I am, you know, the same thing he's saying. I'm not pushing you away from it. I'm just saying, like, if you're, like, thinking, like, you know, something like Spears and Amazing HD or, like, Jacksepticeye, they, like, I don't think they have a job. But it's, like, their full-time job. But they have so many subscribers and so many, they just get paid so much. It's over $100 per view. It's, like, more than 10000 It's more like 100000 so, um, you know, I'm not stopping anybody from, you know, from making a YouTube video or not making a YouTube, a YouTube channel, you know, um, I did it and, you know, I'm not very successful so far. So when I do this, I should have ads. I will try to do that. If I can't, you know, I'm going to cry. Okay. So see you.